Trying to catch up to it along with Kylie Armstrong. And kicked out of bounds, though, by Kennedy Jenkins. Armstrong, on, or excuse me, Schneider on the far sideline with the ball thrown it in. Megan Mahler playing that for a little bit and now will be cleared out up to the top. Darby Abbott passing it to Hannah Osman. Osman with a nice move and now up ahead to Schneider. Schneider with it near that right corner. Her kick is behind the net. It goes out of bounds. Yeah, behind the net and a little too high. Look, maybe trying to cross that back. I'm not sure. Coming into the game for the first time, Haley Garner for the Lady Braves. And she will be replacing Dessa Inski. A goal kick right here. Four Star Valley, left side of the goal. Still no score between Worland and Star Valley. First half of the Taco John scoreboard for Dylan Energy Broadcast with Klingler. Say we get our bounce. Schneider. Kick it still on the front. Osmond. Gonna go to, well, she was trying to get to McGarvey, but it was way out of her reach. However, Wasson was able to track it down. Pass goes right to Bailey Sharp. Osmond takes the ways. Sharp overran the ball. Rabbit with it. Fighting for it with uh, Stephanie Strang now. A little bit of a clear out by Fulford. Darby Abbott. Now to Molitor trying to get it to Schneider. I kick this towards the back end. Now uh, Jamie Neal is able to do a high clear out. Goes off the head once of Fulford. Bounce to Robinson. There's the left side. Trying to get to it is Kennedy Brogue and wasn't able to do so. As it just goes out of bounds. Madeline Klein back into the game and also coming into the game for the first time, Shayla Patterson. And they will be replacing Bailey Sharp and also Stephanie Strang coming off the pitch for Star Valley. You throw in for the Lady Braves, just over 15 minutes to go in this first half. No score between Woodland and Star Valley. Taco John scoreboard for Devin Energy broadcast. Booth is Keller and Klein battling for position inside the 18. Klein holding her car. So she's going to well, she's going to continue on. Let's see. A hand goes up for one of the officials, and I'm guessing extra time will be added on because of how. Yeah, Klein in obvious yeah. pain right here. Exactly. Uh, looks like indicating maybe her elbow, her arm on that side. And just staying on the field, just kind of walking around. And now it's like, oh, the arm, but still walking rather stiffly. She just came into the game, too. Yeah, just, just back in off uh, the sideline. She'll take a free kick here and be played by Fulfer. Now Fulfer trying to clear it out. Goes right to Kennedy Brown. Lawson had it, lost it. Out of Fulfer to Armstrong. Lawson with it and out of her right foot as it goes out of bounds. Be a throw in. Start out. Now Lawson not quite able to get to that ball. But great speed closing in on it. And the Garvin working here against Robinson. Robinson battling for position with the Garvin. A little bit of pushing and shoving going on. And the Garvin just able to tap it out. Robinson will get it in again. Just over the head. A loss. Kick back out. A high kick in. It's just going to go wide. On the right side to the left. From Robinson. Yeah, it looked like she had a little bit of trouble judging that. So probably a good thing that it was high. Sadria Russell coming back into the game. Uh, leaving the pitch for the Lady Warriors will be Hannah Osman. Under 14 minutes to go in the first half. No score between Worland and, and Worland and Star Valley, that is. And the Taco John scoreboard for the energy broadcast. Group. While we have a moment of action, we'll take this time out. 8 15 40 KW Warriors, this is too. Oh, 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 Oh man, that was a handball. 
Said that it sounded good. It sounded good, okay, good. After what? Tim Moriarty from Saturday Sound. Oh! Oh! Look at that. What a shot there. Four or five. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not sure. Hey, that was good circumstance. Haley, that was well played. Good job. Nice idea, Haley. Shot back. Oh, nice idea. Nice idea. Hey, Kennedy. Hey, Emily Schwein and Allie. Someone no, check no two. Five that. yards. School Stono score between Lady Warriors and Star Valley Lady Braves. Big Lady joins the KWOR and also online at mybighornbasin.com. And no scoring opportunities during that break. We took Glenn or Star Valley, but Lady Warriors should have a shot. Here we shatter. Whoa, now Star Valley with the chance is Klein trying to pass it inside the 18 to Shayla Patterson, but went wide and out of bounds inside the 18. But yeah, Lady Warriors had a chance. We went to break as Schneider got inside the 18, but her kick was caught by Bermiston. Yeah, Schneider with a great shot, but saved by Star Valley. And other than that, the Braves had uh, one shot, it looked like, but that was going to be called back offside penalty. And ooh, Aubrey Goodrick here with another save, that, another pass by Klein down inside. Uh, Fox, Goodrick stick to come up with the ball before Star Valley. Now up over across the field. Sadria Russell and Casey Lawson there for Lee Williams. That is a couple of star value. It's one of the feet. Definitely let him play. He's got a few kicks, not just from one team, but from both teams. It looked like they could have gone off the hands of both players. A number of different players. Left side getting it inside to Broke, and it's a little wide. Maybe you start out like Braves as that pass was from City Oakland. He kicked out. All right, Goodman. It's to Schneider. He loses it. The field strike. Robinson with the kick back out. Schneider with it. Pass over to Lawson and does Neal. Bumps into her and Lawson almost gets tripped up. Getting a foot on it though is Russell as it almost dies trickling forward towards that right side. Burmester will pick it up and clear it out. Yeah, Schneider there passing that ball through the leg of Neal over to Wassum. Wassum, as you said, getting bumped there by Neal. Staggers kind of stumbles a little bit but doesn't go down. And it should be cleared out off the head of Klein up in the direction of Kennedy Brog. Bro, bro, excuse me. And the kick is blocked near that right wing. Taylor Fulton. 
He thrown in. Yeah, and a real quick play there by Brogue over to Robinson. Back to Brogue, and she's gonna cross this all the way back across the field. Emily Kelly gonna come up with that loose ball and loses it back to Madeline Klein. Kick by Klein. He's a little wide to the right side and out. Now we have some opportunities here. The shots on goal for the most part have been wide. Well, they really haven't get down there. Playing deep in there over the pack of uh, As you said, none of the shots really going in. Uh, any of the ones that were going to come through, Goodrick saving easily so far today. And her kick going to be played off the body of Sadria Russell. And now Klein with it. The chest to Shania McGarvin. Keller trying to clear it out to Schneider, out of her reach. Is getting a foot on it. It's Jenkins, and it goes out of bounds. Now Beth Ayunga in the contest. The Lady Warriors. Sophomore defender wearing number 19. Tries to go down. And Klein goes down and plays. It's transpiring. Yeah, Klein goes down and runs into the back of Hannah Osmond. They're going to call that uh, foul on Klein. As Schneider McGarvin taking this free kick up ahead to Nybeth and Robinson. Playing that now, gonna kick it out of bounds. Now Yungo will throw it in a good 10 yards or so away from the left corner. On the top of the 18 to Schneider. Gonna back it up. Over to Russell, gets it inside the 18, and her kick is brought in by Burmester. Bobbled it a little bit, but just brought it in. Right before Casey Lawson had a chance to close it. Yeah, Lawson closing in on that ball on the far side, but not able to get to it before Burmester able to bring it in. Short, high, clear out, but bounces high as Klein trying to kick it towards Kennedy Brogue, but it goes right to Taylor Fulfer. He's swinging out to Armstrong and also to Lawson, both trying to track it down, but Burmester comes up with it at the top of the 18. Yeah, Burmester doing a good job so far today of beating the Lady Warriors to those balls. Uh, they're just kind of in no man's land, just uh, running free. To Keller in the back end. Front end, it goes to Osmond. To Schneider, Schneider. Didn't get the pass, broken up by Haley Garner. And now a whistle is blown as it's all taking place. And so there'll be a free kick for Lady Warriors. It comes over the top, it's you! And we have him taking the hang well right ahead up to <laughs> Armstrong. But Armstrong not able to stop it. And Berman, it's just going to roll through Burma's back. They do another clear out. Goes past Russell. And Keller with it. No score between Worland and Star Valley. Just over five minutes to go. First half of the Taco John scoreboard. The Divin Energy broadcast. Booth Schneider with it. Armstrong had it for a second. And Linda also in it, but overplayed the ball as it went past her. Goes right to right, Robinson, who kicks it out of bounds. Step back, step back. McGarvin will throw it in. Next to a couple of Star Valley Braves in the midfield striper. We'll look at the check in. Her throw in goes off the foot. Garvin will throw it in again. Armstrong now battling for it. Over to Hokum and another clear out. By Star Valley. Bolfer with it. Oh, Bolfer goes down as she's trying to get a clear out. Tangled up with a Star Valley player. And Russell with it. Trying to pass it over to Wasson. Out of her reach, and then throw it to Lady Braves. Coming into the game for them is Bailey Sharp and Dustin Inski, both returning. Coming off the field for some breathers, Sean Tay Robinson, and also Shayla Patterson. I'll tell you, that Natty Klein, though, I mean, she's, she's been banged up in this game. She just continues to keep going. Yeah, that's Still definitely tough. taking a couple of shots already early on. And this one they're going to take let's off the go, get out of it. Kick by Klein, and Klein going to take this free kick up ahead. Played off the chest to Allison Klingler off the knee of Taylor Fulford. And Fulford now going to clear that ball out. Long booming clear out. Schneider, Lawson, and Armstrong all closing down in on that ball. And Burmester able to beat that trio to it. But only barely if Schneider actually bumps into her a little bit. I would say that is a shot on goal. To say it, I it's just right there. On clear out. Off the foot of Osmond. Now clear out towards Kennedy Brogue, but getting a foot on it was Goodrick. Klein with it. Her tipped shot on goal. Blocked by Klinger. Picked up by Jenkins. Towards that left corner. Now getting a foot on it was a Keller and long clear out that goes off of Wasson. The kick is blocked. Off of Jamie Neal, but she goes out of bounds. Be a throw in for Lady Braves. 
Yeah. 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 And, uh, I think both teams anxious for this 0-0 tie to end. They just Activity want it to be in their favor when it does. Fulford nice, on the back end trying nice. to get it to Ayunga. Couldn't do so as Haley Garner now has it near that right wing. McGarvin trailing her left side. A little pushing and shoving going on and it's kicked out of bounds by Shania McGarvin or no? They're going to say it's going to be last touch by Haley air. Garner. Watch be a goal kick for the Lady Warriors. Yeah, Megan Bolliter coming back into the game for the Lady Warriors, replacing Kylie Armstrong. So the Lady Warriors substituting a lot more than they uh, did earlier on in the year. And the Darby can take this kick up ahead to a easy one. But it goes right to Bailey Sharp. And Sharp just kind of rolled that one up ahead. And saved by Aubrey Dillard. Closing on that far side. It was Kennedy Broke. Almost got to that ball. Madeline Klein was in the down for Star Valley, dribbling up the field. To pass it over on that left side to Brogue. Broken up though by Klinger. Wasson with it. Trying to get it to Schneider. A header though by Kennedy Jenkins. And it's going to trickle out of bounds. Throwing right for the Warriors. Schneider, two minute mark of this first half. No score. Between Warland and Star Valley. The Taco John scoreboard. Did an energy broadcast booth. Is that throwing? Kicked out of bounds by Jamie Neal. Now kick out by Schneider going inside. And it's just brought in by Burmester as. Megan Molitor and I believe Casey Wasson were trying to close in. Yeah, Snyder and Wasson with a little bit of back and forth there off the throw-ins. But Neil able to clear that out for the Lady Braves. Nice. Nice. Going back and forth right now. Fulfer has it, trying to do a long clear up. Looking to get it ahead to Wasson, but maybe to Molitor. And not able to do so. He's getting a foot on it and clearing it out again is Burmester. Russell with it on the back end to Keller. Keller looking to get it out front. It goes off a Star Valley Lady Brave, I believe that was Jenkins. Schneider goes around Jenkins, goes around another play. Now it's not the 18 or kick he's brought well in. Well done. Well done. Nice pressure, Riley. Point blank. Well, uh, Snyder just dribbling around. around. Two or three defenders making a miss. That that bonus is still no problem bringing in that ball. Goes off of. Osmond on a clear out. Also a Yunga. Yes. Osmond trying to well fight for position nice. with Garner. Garner's going to back it up to Sadie Hokum. Osmond able to get to it though near the top of the 18, getting a foot on it though. And Sadie Hokum goes off with that Yunga. Off her head as it trickles out of bounds. No sheep goal. Work hard, ladies. Work hard. And the throw in. Four star valley from Riley Luffy over to South of Allen with that Yunga. Let's off of by Yunga. Save it from going out of bounds is Bailey Sharp. Jump back on me. I'm going to have a foot on it. I'm going to say it's going to be the Warriors. But before, you're going to have a chance to think about doing that. Whistle is blowing a